So the question is, how do you sell to corporates uh, using LinkedIn? So let's just make a hypothetical situation. Let's say I'm selling half a million pounds worth of products or services to a large corporate company with more than a thousand employees, say. So let's say that that's our example. Number one thing to consider, whoever your decision maker is, whoever the point of contact is that you're trying to reach, just be aware they will be receiving pitches of varying quality every single day. So your contact will get cold pitches, those ones, war and peace LinkedIn messages. They'll be getting people who are just connecting and hitting them up. They'll get people who are shallowly creating conversations that actually turn to sales in five minutes. So mo most likely your decision maker will be a bit battle hardened to pitching. They'll also know how, they, you know, they won't waste time um, being polite. If you annoy them, they'll just ignore you. Um, so that's probably true of anybody really nowadays. There used to be a, a civility that we would reply to people because it was rude not to, but uh, because we talk to people without <laughs> engaging and building relationships, people ignore you. So number one thing, your prospect will be have heavily been pitched to already. So you can't just do what everybody else is doing and hope that yours will cut through the noise uh, and be seen differently. Your pitch, your presentation, whatever you're doing, will be seen in the same lens as everybody else's, unless, unless you change something, unless you decide to do something differently. And so here's the, the, the magic of selling, uh, you know, half million, million pound uh, products and services through LinkedIn. Go build the relationships. Go build the relationships. We have a model we call account-based selling, account-based social selling rather. And we use this to talk to, build relationships with corporates to make sure that those decision makers see our content, uh, to make sure they see what we're doing, to make sure they see the value we can bring to their business. That's what we do. Um, and we do that with this uh, to all different levels of the business, but primarily to make sure our decision makers see that we're delivering value for customers. That, uh, on top of then deliberate relationship building, really does help you. Now, uh, some people go, well, I don't have time for that. You mean you really don't have time to invest in a, a, in a, a deal that could net you half a million or a million quid? Are you serious? I mean, really? The amount of time I see people saying, I don't have time for LinkedIn, and I, I just feel like sometimes I'm too polite, but I go, are you telling me you don't have any time to build relationships with prospects that will convert? Are you telling me you don't have any time to grow your revenue? Because that's what this is all about. And the reason why people avoid investing time in relationships on LinkedIn is because they do the wrong things and they invest in the wrong way. And then they're disappointed when their prospect doesn't reply. And so what you find is people are pitching corporates, hoping they get a reply and then go, mm, LinkedIn doesn't work. Or they try and shallowly build a relationship with a decision maker and go, oh, LinkedIn doesn't work. And it's because they've, they've done stuff that even they wouldn't be happy being done to them. Uh, if you look at what you're doing on LinkedIn, and this is just a wider point and then I'll shut up. If you look at what you're doing on LinkedIn, ask yourself this, would you buy from you? Honestly, would you buy from you? Because if your answer is no, why the hell are you doing what you're doing? <laughs> why don't you just change it? Seriously, build relationships, build relationships. And obviously the right ones with the right people and sincerely build the relationships. At one of our biggest deals we ever did, I spent three years working on that account, three years. There's some deals I'm working on on LinkedIn that are worth half a million, a million. There's one that I think is worth about two and a half million. And I will spend years working on that account because it's worth it. It's worth it. And so if, if there's one piece of advice I would give somebody wanting to sell big ticket items into corporates is invest in the relationships. If you think that you can connect and pitch and that's going to work with a corporate, you are mistaken.